Now, any trouble with anything? Um, just my neck has been very tight again. Okay. So weird numbness in my hand when I wake up again. Other than that, not too bad, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, I can see the tightness in the neck. Mm -hmm. And that right hip is not super thrilled with either. Yeah, and I'm probably not thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. Alright, can you raise that up a size a little bit for me? Good, and then the other one. Yeah, almost as good. I'm gonna bench you up. Hold that there, I'm going to try and bring you down, that's really good, and then I'll switch it, and hold, good. Now if we jam into the right hip, less good, and then sacrum, perfect. So I am going to get you facing over this way. Boy. Good. Oh yeah, that's tight. <laughs> there we go, right in, and yeah. Beautiful. And then I'll get you over the other way. <laughs> Good, and a breath in, and up. There we go, perfect. Back face down for me. Now, did you check out the uh, the Tampa show? I did, I did watch that. It was very, very cool. I was very happy to see most of the fitness girls. Breath in here, and up. Good, and there it is. I'm gonna borrow your head for this one, Kat. Good. Yeah, I didn't, uh, to be honest, I didn't pay so much attention to the uh, the fitness part of the competition. But yeah, because Ian was up there. Mm hmm. How did uh, how'd fitness look? Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, uh, I didn't get to see all of their full routines. But uh, there wasn't like big numbers this year either. I think there was only six of them, but oh wow, still looked fun. Well, I'm sure it always kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're kind of a close knit family fitness, so it's good. It's usually just a fun time. <laughs> it was something that kind of surprised me too. It was like talking to. Like anybody who's competed pro, it's just like everybody kind of knows each other and there's not allegedly all that much beef between anybody. No, there really isn't. I mean, it's a sport where there's a lot of commitment required, so if, you're fo if you have time to focus on what someone else is doing, I mean, it's, you don't. <laughs> yeah. So when you get up there, you're all there to compete and do your own thing, so... I mean, regardless, you're going to have competition, but... I don't know if you ever met, uh... There was an old guy who used to work at a pack in Perth. Um, Donald. This English dude. Um... I can't yeah. remember his last name for the life of me. Did he have glasses? I don't remember. Kind of shorter, jacked old dude. Uh, Spiderweb tattoos everywhere. Oh, no, I don't think no. I do. I sort of, so when I was at PAC, and I remember you were at PAC for a little while. Yeah. Um, you'd just be this guy who'd like kind of quietly work out. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'd kind of written him off like he was just some like weird old guy <laughs> with like spider web tattoos yeah. everywhere. And, you know, like didn't really talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you on your back for me when you're ready. And uh, anyway, so I got talking to Don one day. And it turned out he had, in his younger days, I guess one, uh, I, guess, I think it was Mr. Britain oh. a couple times, and then Mr. Europe. Cool. Uh, but I remember him saying, going along the lines, of, like talking to a buddy, and uh, his buddy was like getting ready for stage, and like looked into the crowd and said, hey, that girl looks really good. And he just said, like, honestly, if you can think about that, when you're about to step on stage, yeah. you are screwed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of that stuff going on in your head. 
So your body is way too healthy right now to do well in bodybuilding. Yeah. Today, you did. You're not fighting me at all, yeah. which is wonderful. Feels good. Yeah, um, I did some deep tissue in my uh, neck the other day because it was just so tight. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I've been sleeping still really weird, so. <laughs> I'm gonna play up here. It's always awkward working around the mm -hmm. masks, but only do. I was so impressed. I went to get my hair cut. Um, I can't remember when, probably a couple of weeks ago now, based on how it looks. But um, <laughs> it's just like how adept the, the girl cutting my hair was at working through the mask. And, oh yeah, like, I guess they have while... to. Eh? <laughs> I'm just gonna cut around this. If you permanently have lines, it's okay. <laughs> Well, it was, it was just like this weird, like almost three-handed approach where one hand was like holding the mask to my face so it didn't move. The other hand was like lifting the thing off my ear, the, oh, the wow. hoop, and then, or at least she managed to hold it in a way where it didn't move off my face at all, but she still managed to get yeah. in through the ear. And here I am struggling to figure out how to like just press through. <laughs> Not a point of pride right now. That's where I'm going with that. It's definitely something harder to work around. It's a little bit bigger than a necklace. I mean, softer too. It's yeah. not like I'm going to be you know, <laughs> bruising you by pushing through a necklace yeah. and I'm pushing through the cloth. Yeah, this one's pretty comfy. Well, it's a good way to do it too. It's like a lot more stylish thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just pull it up and like Pretty much covers half my face and then pull it down when I need to. So I just keep it as a necklace. It works. I've seen some really funny custom printed masks where like people do the cloth, but I guess there's a couple companies now yeah. that are like printing them. Uh, and they'll either do like the like Hannibal Lecter uh, cage yeah. or like somebody did their own face but it printed the wrong size so we had like this gigantic mouth. I feel like a Bane mask would be cool. Bane would be sweet. I did see somebody did like the Rick Sanchez. Oh yeah. Mouth. <laughs> it's just that last little spot doesn't want to go away. Yep. It's tight. But yeah, I haven't really seen any like really really interesting ones in person no, for the most part everybody either. just like kind of has their pretty like plain yeah they're like plain black cloth or they're whatever this is yeah. surgically <laughs> I feel like cool dinosaur teeth are like a cat mail like a will be cool oh yeah I don't know how you would do that, but like... <laughs> yeah, it's for somebody who is way better at design than I am. Yeah. Stayed away from creative fields for a reason. <laughs> Ooh. Those are very nice today. I can't believe that. <laughs> Yummy. Probably from all the lifts in my shoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> have you started that YouTube channel I told you to use? <laughs> I do have a YouTube channel, but I haven't posted anything in probably a month. <laughs> I was actually just thinking about the other day I might film my full uh, like weightlifting like workout. Oh, yeah. And then do like a full gymnastics workout. I just need a camera with all the memory space on it. Well, I know people love the, uh, like, obviously, like Chris Bumstead's YouTube channel is massive. And, yeah. And 
I feel like fitness is just going to be such a different beast in that way because yeah. not only are you doing all the training, but you're also then on top of it doing all the gymnastics. And yeah, yeah, it would definitely be good to show both and the spectrum in it. think if there are any uh, I mean I don't watch a lot of the the training but I think I can't think anybody like fitness wise like yeah bodybuilding fitness that I've seen that I don't has know done it, no so. I, the, I don't really know anyone other than little fitness is her Instagram she's into the calisthenics and like the handstands and gymnastics part of it yep yeah. But yeah, I don't really know anyone who's like fitness and like that's what their YouTube is, so. Perfect. And then I'm going to get you sitting for me. <laughs> I just want to see, can you pinch uh, pinky and thumb together on both hands? Squeeze. That seems good. Less so. If we jam the back of the wrist in, squeeze, that gets better. So we're going to adjust in through the wrist. You're okay there? Yep. There it is. Oh, that feels that was a good. Lot. Yeah, they have been tight. All right, try that again for me. Squeeze. Good. And I just want to see if we challenge the other one. Squeeze, does that... Uh, that does actually still change it, so... Right one... Well, I think we knew the right one was worse anyways, but... Ooh. Those are probably some of the best wrist adjustments I've ever yeah. gotten out of anybody. That's awesome. Now we've got them on camera. Cool. Yeah, I usually pop super easily everywhere, but I've never done my wrists. Well, I don't think we've ever really needed to so much mm -hmm. before. I guess they're just kind of getting tight now with all the, the lifting. For better or worse, that front rack can take a toll on mm -hmm. them, so. Good, and I'm gonna come around behind you. We're gonna check shoulders too. That looks good. That looks good. Switch sides. Range is good. <laughs> that felt more elbowy, actually. That was yeah, a little crack in there. That's happy. So I'm gonna come back to the elbow. I'm gonna grab your hand. We're gonna bend you. I'm gonna try to turn you up. Try and hold that there. No. I'm gonna try and turn <laughs> you down. Try and hold that there. Wait, does it? Work? Yep. Okay. So then I'm gonna try and turn you up one more time. If I hold you at the elbow, perfect. For this one, I'm going to get you to stand. And there we go. That one was pretty quiet, but and then I'll let you sit again. I'm going to try and turn you up. Try and hold that there. Good. Functionally a lot better. And just to make sure, hold that there. I'm going to try and turn it up, and then I'm going to try and turn it down. Perfect. All right. Feel that all out for me. Mm -hmm. 